Hi, I'm going to talk about a few things again. So I'm going to let this video here, another video I took at the Underworld of Minneapolis, I'm going to let this reel out. It's a damaged brick structure. It was completely brick, all of it was, and the evidence is damning everywhere for it. This stuff has been, this, what seems to be stone-like material is bricks. There's bricks everywhere in between it still. And um, I've worked with contractors and builders for many years, and nobody, I mean nobody, knows of anything going on like this today. And it's ridiculous to think anybody did anything as silly like, like this in the past, like they tell us. This was built from hewn, cut stone, quarried stone, from this very, what they call embankment, which is just a building of brick that's been damaged. It's been damaged so bad uh, that it, it's, the matter has been changed. The state of matter has been changed. But these are not patched up holes. There's another canal right there. There's another canal on the other side here. So that this is and this is big enough for a cat to fit through. And I'm telling you, they're not going to be using burnt bricks to patch up holes to nothing. And why did they patch that up then? You know what I'm saying? These survived and they're perfectly fit in between what these these quote unquote um, stones. They're just, they're just burnt bricks. See, see how they're all melted together right here and melted into each other? There's no one stone here. Really. You can't really make out some of the stones in some of these areas. See this? So you're telling me they used a, a block. That shape right here, this wild shape? Are you kidding me? Look at it again when I drop these labels. No. Nobody did that. Nobody did that. These melted together. These were all bricks like this that melted together. I'll let this reel out now. You can just watch and check out the carnage while I speak about some other things. So I'm, I was watching Mine Unveiled today. One of the more recent, maybe the most recent video. Shout out to Mine Unveiled. I love Mine Unveiled. They're, Sun and Moon are great. They, they have put out some fantastic information. They do some great work. Check them out if you haven't. And I was watching this recent video, the... Explaining Tartaria to penguins. And shout out to penguins, too. Penguin, I love penguins. Oh, my God. Those slap fights are ridiculous. Oh, my God. Anywho, shout out to penguins. I hope he gets this stuff soon. I hope he's... I hope, I hope uh, Sun and Moon uh, may have helped shed some light on, on the issue there because he was having some trouble um, registering what he was getting on his own. When it came to Tartaria, so I hope that uh, Mine Unveiled possibly, um, you know, opened up a new view for him. Anywho, I'm watching and Mine Unveiled, you know, they always just top, top of the line stuff. Just the videos that the, the research is, is like state of the art stuff. It's great stuff. And he's putting, he's reeling through. So Sun, it was, uh, Sun did this last video. And uh, he's reeling through all these beautiful images and photos of the old world and just these magnificent buildings and paintings and, su and such. And I'm looking at these buildings. And a lot of them are like Gothic cathedrals and just the cities. He's reeling through, you know, just the normal, you know, Crazy, awesome, mine and veiled juice going on. You know, he's reeling through all those amazing images. And I'm looking and I'm and I'm seeing lots of images of like, you know, those enormous buildings that are just like who built these huge buildings where like you you couldn't even open the door. It, not even a, not even a giant could open these doors, you know? And I'm thinking like, okay, so giants. Now now I'm thinking about giants. Because I'm looking at these big buildings, like, okay, gee whiz. Who was who opening these doors? And then I'm looking, I'm thinking about all these images of doors all around the world that still exist today even, all around the known realm. These doors. Who was opening and using these doors? These enormous doors. Because not only are they dwarfing us and any ability for any human being our size to be able to open, they just, they just dwarf us. Um... But they dwarf us, and then on top of that, they're made of like bronze and steel and big heavy materials. So it's like even if, like say a, like an eight or nine or ten footer, 
who might be able to open some of these doors, but even not, not even in every case. There are some doors. Because we know, let's say, so I'm looking at giants here. And I'm thinking, okay, so we have, in this research, if we want to go just by, um, off of, you know, the best data we have, the best data we have is, whether it's true or not, we have, we do have, um, we do have documented um, findings of giants around, especially around the Americas, uh, around the turn of the century. Newspaper clippings, newspaper articles, local stuff, local finds that went into newspapers and such, it seems a lot of them could be valid because there was a common theme where who pulls up and shows up but the Smithsonian, but the universities and these institutions, and they take the bodies, the skeletons, they take them, you know, and they, they, they shut everyone up and they, they, they take off and they grind them up in the dust, you know, and, and, and they snort them. So, in, in the mummy dust, okay? Look in the mummy dust. What was going on there? You, you tell me what was going on with mummy dust because I think it was going right up their noses, okay? I, I don't care what anyone says. It looks like they were snorting the mummies. They were snorting the dead, okay? And they probably, they probably were the ones who killed them in the first place anyway, you know? All these controllers, you know? The ones snorting these bodies and the Smithsonian taking these bodies and then grinding them up and snorting them. They probably were the ones who killed them in the first place. But that's not, I'm not talking about that right now. I'm talking about these doors. They're fucking huge. Excuse my French, but these doors, like, okay, we got, so we got evidence pretty much. In our research, we can say, if we don't want to just go off of our, our uh, speculation, if we want to go from data, we have uh, documented evidence, say, have you, whether it's fake or not, of, it seems to be valid, though, because a lot of this was local newspapers and people just writing what they were finding, you know, in, in their areas, all over the place, of nine, eight foot, seven and a half foot tall skeletons, which are still giants. Compared to, compared to today's size of people, seven and a half feet is a giant. That's much taller than most NBA players. And um, so we're getting seven and a half foot giants, eight foot, nine foot, 10 foot, even up to maybe 12 foot in some cases are, are being pulled out of the rubble and the debris of the destruction, okay? Rick's everywhere here in the canal. The canal wall is falling down. Sorry. Okay. Bricks everywhere. But we have evidence of maybe 12 foot at the highest. So I'm looking at 12 foot. I'm taking that as, as just a point of, you know, I, I'm just using that as a point of reference here for maybe like the tallest finds and the tallest documented humans that we know probably did exist and were found and ground up in the dust and snorted. And they stole all their jewelry too and put it in their pockets and didn't share anything either because they probably killed the folks in the first place. But anywho, we're not talking about that right now. Um, but, but, but everyone was dead. But that's enough. Uh, well, not everyone, but most. Because these cities were empty. Um... We get doors that dwarf even 12-footers that even a 12-footer wouldn't be able to open, especially in Asia and like Russia and, and all over Asia and Europe in the past and stuff. And in these images that, that mine and Veil was reeling through, that they were reeling through in this last video. And I was just looking like, gee whiz, not even 12-footers would be able to open those doors. So were there people even bigger that would have been able to open these doors? Is what I'm thinking. Like, are, was, was there people here, eh? You know? Like, that big. Or was there not? And I'm starting to think, I don't think there was. And I'll tell you why. I'm not saying there, there wasn't giants that couldn't have been you know, gargantuan. But it seems like a lot of these gargantuan structures in cities, like the, like the buried cities, like Cappadocia, the melted cities like Cappadocia and all these mountain ranges and buried cities everywhere. Uh, a lot of these cities are enormous. They're enormous. Like take this Cappadocia, for example. It looks like a mountain range. They are, all these mountain ranges are just buried destruction. All of them are. They all are. They're showing the same evidence of the same destructive event um, in all the same material. So it's just ridiculous. But, 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 but anywho, we have doors everywhere that remain today, that still remain today, that would not be able to be opened even by a 12-footer. And that's about like as high as we get, that we know probably, that we can be comfortable with saying that we know 
we have evidence of 12 footers at, you know, at most pretty much. I'm not saying they couldn't have been higher and that more had it been found at our, our tower. I know Sasquatch is tall. Oh, these may be Sasquatch bodies are pulling out. Who knows? Because I, I know that they exist and that, that they're found up to be upwards of 14 feet tall. So there's no telling. But I'm saying for men, for humans, we got the Smithsonian coming, grinding up bodies everywhere, grinding up the bodies in the mummy dust and stealing gold and pocketing all the jewelry and, and all the goods and stealing all the tech and taking away all the tech and the rivets and taking all the good stuff and, and, and replacing it with junk, okay? With, with junk. You know, and that's what they did. They replaced it with junk, plastic. And uh, I don't think that they were opening these doors. I, I don't think that there was giants that big. The ones, I mean, for, for, for these doors that even dwarf 12 footers and stuff, I don't, I don't think that, that there was a people that big opening, that were just able to come along and open those doors up. I don't even think a lot of the doors that seem like a, like a nine footer or a 10 footer would be able to open weren't even built for them really. I mean, they were here clearly, so they probably built a lot of the bigger stuff, but it seems like, even they were building stuff bigger for, you know, what would seem like for bigger people. But maybe they weren't. Maybe these doors. Because when you go in those buildings, they're just big and open on the inside. And they're like big machines. There's like nothing even in there. But a bunch of like, you know, it's just a bunch of elevated. It's, it's just extremely open, huge buildings with all, with, with all sorts of tech in the architecture and all sorts of tech stuff, you know, going on. So what I'm thinking is maybe a lot of these doors were not meant to be opened by, look at the bricks in the rubble everywhere, just hanging out at perfect bricks everywhere. It's all, it's all bricks. But maybe these doors were meant to be opened by means of, say, Aloha Mora. You get what I'm saying? Maybe they weren't meant to just be doors that could just be opened by any prying fingers or any, you know, curious wanderer walk walking along to come and just be able to open up these doors and walk in the building. Maybe these doors were meant to be opened by other means, by technology or something like, say, Aloha Mora. And that people our size were actually meant to be opening these doors or maybe up to maybe, say, 12 feet at the most at one time, possibly. Or maybe maybe they, they, they lived along with us, you know? But it looks like... It looks like... These doors were opened and, and designed for people of our size or maybe just a little bit larger, but, but not meant to be opened by just the people themselves without, without the right means to open the door. I, I feel like these doors are meant to be opened by those who were able to open it by, say, Aloha Mora or, 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 or the technology behind it was meant to open these doors or something like, like that, where they weren't just meant to be opened by anyone at any time. You get what I'm saying? Could that be what we're looking at as well? I think so in many cases. Some of the big giant doors may have very well been built and these giant buildings may have been built by people like us, for people like us and, and such and created in, immense amounts of electricity or whatever they did or healing effects or or uh, who knows what type of etheric effects or what was going on, what type of magic maybe that this allowed to happen or, or what. Maybe the architecture itself all over the place in full function, in full functioning order, allowed for magics to be practiced and um, in, in much, in much uh, you know, in a much, in a much greater way much more easily. Maybe it, maybe it made certain energies, subtle energies, much more readily available to access when this entire grid was perfectly up and running. You know what I'm saying? Square head bolts and nuts everywhere sticking out of the, the perfect iron that doesn't rust. Did you see that? But um, I'm not so certain, you know, that all these giant, enormous structures and doorways and all these doors were really built by people that could just come along and swing it open with their hands and their fingers. Maybe they weren't meant to be opened that way. It was meant to be opened by those who were meant to open the door. You know? 
bricks in the canal still. Look at the bottom base of the canal. Um, or did you see that? Oh, gee whiz. Show the bottom. Okay. Ah! You see, you see, you see, you see it right there, right there. Stop, 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 stop. All the bricks, ah, oh, come on. They're all still in place in the bottom of the canal walls. You can still see all the bricks. They weren't blocks of humans. You can see they're all bricks. See? And they're burnt and stuff. What's the concern there? They put three bricks in there. See what I'm saying? No concern there. No concern. But let me back up quick. Right there. Right there. You see all the bricks. Oops. Right there. Right there. All of them sticking out. They, they were perfect bricks and they're all jagged and, and they're all sticking out right here. They're all inside of there. Those perfect bricks still all over the place. And along these bottoms of these walls are just perfect bricks still lining the bottom still. And bricks like that, that, that would have been, you would have had to have been a, a, a brick mason god to have laid those bricks in, into that squeeze that perfectly like that with burnt edges and stuff. Look at that. And, and, and they would have had to have cut that because that, that brick is cut. If it were sort of be laid by hands, they cut that one into a certain shape to fit in there. Are you kidding me? They didn't do that. See, whiz. Look at that top one smashed. It's melting into itself. And into the next one. Um, but that's what I wanted to talk about. So I think that's a good place to leave this. I don't think there's too much more I was looking at here. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I, I walked in, but I didn't have a light. But it goes miles in both or in all directions, everywhere in there. I'm not sure if I walk up to the other side here where it goes into the next canal. I think I do. There shall be light in a moment here. Yeah. And there's just... It just goes on forever. This canal entryways everywhere, and it just goes on in all directions. I'll be bringing you some excellent footage of this place very soon. Ladders going up into holes and stuff that go everywhere. Tunnels and entryways every direction you can imagine, and it's said to go to St. Paul. So I'll leave it there. I love you all. Take care, and I'll be back soon.